today. We're going to see what these have to do with these. There are a lot of things that most of us would like to see less of in this world. Climate change is one of those things. Mass shootings is another. The most direct way to limit climate change would be to make fossil fuels more expensive by taxing them. But politicians and the voters who elect them don't seem willing to do that. Likewise, countries like Australia that have put limits on guns have seen a huge drop in mass shootings. But even though simple background checks are very popular with U.S. voters, Congress won't pass gun reform. But it turns out economists have another solution to these problems. The amount of fossil fuels that people use does depend on their price, but it also depends on the prices of our other options. For example, most of our electricity comes from burning coal. Instead of getting utilities to emit less carbon by making coal more expensive, we could make wind or solar power cheaper. You can reduce the use of fossil fuels by lowering the price of alternative energy, enticing people to switch over. And as solar technology improves, that's exactly what's been happening over the past several years. Likewise, instead of trying to ban guns, we could just make bullets more expensive. Guns and bullets just go together, like apps and phones or screws and screwdrivers. Raising the price of one makes people use less of the other. If we had a tax of $25 a bullet, hunters and sportsmen could still do some shooting, but a disturbed teenager wouldn't be able to afford a high-capacity shooting spree. And guns are still perfectly legal, so you accomplish that without some big Second Amendment fight. So did I just solve two huge problems in one video? Yeah, yeah, I think I did. And who is Econ Guy? I'm Patrick Walsh. I'm an associate professor of economics at St. Michael's College near Burlington, Vermont. Thank you.